they've even got a sideline game going on to figure out who wants to disrupt the, the circle. So, well, Michelle, you told, you've left us hanging long enough. Let's get going. Hi folks, welcome back, Gordon Camp here, and we're in for episode two of The Circle US Season 7. Now, just a quick recap before we get started. We had we had all the people move into their relevant apartments. Uh, we met all the contestants. We have one middle-aged person that is in line with me and who I relate to. Everyone else are children in their 20s or early 30s. I think everyone's in their 20s. One of them's playing someday in their 30s, if I remember rightly. Um, so we haven't really found anything out, but we were left on a cliffhanger. They did the ratings, somebody's being evicted, and they've even got a sideline game going on to figure out who wants to disrupt the, the circle. So, well, Michelle, you told, you've left us hanging long enough. Let's get going. What starting song do we get this week? So... Who, dis who activated Disruptor Mode? Jojo and Nikki, the twins, said yes. Oh my god. Savannah is still trying to decide who to block. Oh no, I can't, I can't deal with this. Two things happening at the same time. After the first episode, I am losing my mind here. Like they've got their favourites. The twins are just dying to know. Look, they're jumping around. They're just dying to know who else said yes. I think they're the only ones. Took me so much by surprise last episode. Can't believe it. She's still going on about this espresso martini nonsense. Just let Deb have an espresso martini as a 20 year old. What's wrong with that? Please. Oh, they've decided. Please leave Deb alone. I've got a feeling it's going to be Deb. And I think the disruptor is going to be able to choose whether they stay or actually leave. My initial inkling was the disruptor who said yes would get to stay and the disruptors who said no would have to leave if they were evicted. Kevin, don't be shocked. This is just what this is what we're left with. Circle chat, oh my god. Deb. She doesn't deserve to go just because she comes across as a bit easy, like older, sorry. Deal with it. We know you had to come to a decision. Who was it? I can't look. I've got a feeling they're the youngest ones. I can't remember the exact ages, but... Oh my God, come on! Uh, who is it? Yeah, but Darian, you might have yourself in the game, but you didn't leave a good idea like on those games. Gianna! How? How is it Gianna? Oh, I'm so glad it's not Deb. How? They tried really hard. Well, if you remember episode one, I thought their accent was going to annoy me for like the whole season, but I would never have wanted them to go this early. I do like them. I knew it. This will determine whether they get to stay or leave. Gianna. So they get to, ch I was right, I was right, I was right, I was right. They might get to change who goes. This is bad. Oh my god. Oh, Gianna stays! They have to choose someone else. It'll be Deb. Or me no, I'm sure of it. They're the, the disruptor. They get to choose who goes. Watch this. Oh my god. They're so extra. I love it. No one's blocked. You could have just told us that in episode one. You left me hanging. I cried for like 10 minutes. Michelle. Let's do it. Oh my god. Yeah, she's going to hate you. And there's two of them to hate you. <coughs> mm. Oh. Two people now look really bad. Andy and Savannah, you're going down. This is what I said in the last episode. People who are the influencers at the start always end up with a bad rep and don't usually last to the end. Oh my god. Yeah, you're, they're such strong personalities. So now, either of those girls, or Andy, go up for eviction, they're gone. 
Those guys are going to do everything they can to get rid. I want their ass gone. Give me the coffee. <laughs> Tomorrow, you're getting screwed. Oh my god. Poor Deb. She must be so tired. It's hard keeping up with these kids. So energetic. Don't know what's coming next. Genuinely thought that we're going to get rid of Deb. Good night, Circle. But for how long? Roxette, my favorite band in the whole world. Hitting like a hammer, she's a juvenile scam. Never was a quitter, tasted like a raindrop. She's got the look. Alert! Split screen wake up greeting! Yes! I was wrong. Oh, Deb's one of those coffee people. Coffee is life. Life is coffee. Without coffee, life doesn't exist. That was. Cr you do you know what, Kevin? You're so right. That was crazy surprises. In the end of episode one up till now, it's like roller coaster. I get why they split it, but oh my god. I'm an emotional wreck! <laughs> I knew this was coming. Gianna is done for. She's not taking any rubbish now. Savannah likes Kevin. I never saw that coming. Kevin likes Savannah. I just never saw them pair. I thought she'd be like an Andy girl or a Darian girl. And if the twins were actually the twins, I think she'd be going for them or one of them. I don't want to give her a reputation, but some girls might go for both at the same time. Oh, the boys are unhappy with Andy. She's blaming it on the craziness. Blaming it on the craziness. <clears throat> This is the bit <coughs> about the show that kind of gets me is every influenced decision needs to end up coming out of like the woodwork. That doesn't even make sense. Every influencer comes out afterwards trying to cover themselves or you don't know what's true, what's not, like are they just saying it to stop them getting evicted or who knows? They wanted you blocked because they don't like you. They're the least person you like. That's why they want to block you. But Gianna was ranked last. That's the thing. And I don't understand why. They can't hear the accent, so it can't be that. They're not buying it. They're not buying any of it. I think I would just... I wouldn't believe anything. This would all just be lip service to me. I'd be like, I wouldn't be annoyed, but I'd proper just be like, yeah, that's great, fine, lovely, whatever. But I wouldn't forget, would not forget. And I think that's what these boys are doing. They're making out that Gianna is completely okay with everything. She's gonna be the bestie. And then when they get the chance, that's how it goes, that's how it goes. Oh, besties now. Pretending to be besties now. Oh. <laughs> Auntie, they were. They were like F this and F that. They're not happy. You just gotta see it. <laughs> Do you? You like that conversation? I'm glad. I'd like you not to have liked that conversation. Because I like the drama that you had last week. He does have fun pants, Michelle. You're right. Let's me, let me recap on what I said last week. Darian and Jadeha would be in each other's DMs. It's happening. Told you. Jadeha's so into it. She's loving it. And I'm glad neither of them are catfishes. Because most relationships that start, one's always a catfish and they always get let down. You're looking at her smile, are you Darian? The one that Deb said was a photoshopped one. 
Honey, come on! They're loving each other. Yeah. Yeah. That's me. I'm an emotional wreck. When I get dumped. <laughs> Jade has so cute. Hashtag Miss Circle did not come to play. It is getting hot in here. I can feel it from here, Judea. I can feel it from here. She's married already on him. She's not shy at coming forward, is she? And he's loving it. I wonder if she's playing a game. Let's see if she does this to any other boys. She referenced Jesus in episode one, so I think she might actually be completely legit and a genuine nice girl. She's looking for love. She's looking for love. Always loving the love. I think Darian's looking for love as well. Not in episode two. You can't be locked in on episode two, Darian, because someday or something will happen and then you'll get caught up in the DMs and then game over. It never ends well. <coughs> You're nervous because you love him. Savannah's nervous. Savannah loves Kevin. He looks different today. He must have had a good sleep. He looked really young. In episode one, these girls, I tell you, they're so into these boys. It's a bit early for that though, isn't it? Isn't it a bit early to start relationships in the circle? Make friendships, yeah, but I think there's some game playing going on. That did go zero to 100 real quick, Kevin. You are right, 100%. You are on the same wavelength. These are the first real relationships that we've seen in the circle, I think. The one between Deb, Rachel, and the boys, Gianna, didn't seem that real. They only had that chat in episode one because of where they were from. And I think it was just a bit forced. Like they were just testing the water. I think now, all the real conversation is going to start or love interests even have they done a, another single circle or is this just coincidental kissy face emoji kevin you're so sweet kevana that's the second conjoined hashtag for the circle this season kevana i love that so, Rachel and Gianna, hashtag Rachiana, Kevan is the next one. Oh! New player. She's got tats. She'll get on with Andy. Looks like she's a bit of a rocker as well with those boots. Oh, she cute. Mommy's home. Oh, she's a Zen. Madeline, 25. Nice to meet you, Madeline. And another person in education. And an OnlyFans model. This is interesting. She's being herself. What do you guys think about OnlyFans? Like, is that something... Is there anybody watching this that's like, oh no, OnlyFans? Is it social media? Is it... Is that another version of content creation? She's pretty, isn't she? She resembles Katy Perry. She has a smaller face, but she really looks like Katy Perry in the eyes and the, the nose, mouth. We've got another one! And it's a boy. Are we cute? I like his outfit. He's very well dressed. I wonder if he's either European or gay. He's gay with that skip. He is gay. Garrett, 29. He's a cat dad. Is he gay? He is gay. I was right. I know my gays. I know my gays. He came out when he was 21. I came out when I was 22. 
So I get it. Catfishing is a straight man. It's not easy. I think he's a model as well from the sounds of this. Oh, he's just gymnast, circus, skills. He's going to be popular. He is going to be popular. And I think he's done a good thing by choosing a dog picture. Because all the dog conversations, he doesn't know this, but all the dog conversations happened like, yes, like yesterday, episode one. Good choice, Garrett. Rep the homos. Come on. I want Garrett to win now. Fly that flag. Game. Throwback Thursday. Cheers. Each of you will post one sexy photo in the circle chat. Ooh. Garrett came at just the right time. Oh, poor Deb's looking up the meaning of thirsty. I mean, I know I'm old, but I know what thirsty means. Savannah's on it. Let's see who's got the best pictures. Oh, so the new players don't take part. They just view. Thirst trap right there. Lock this in. Go back to sleep. Samson, stop being nosy. Look at that glass of wine. That's my kind of glass. I wonder if there's actual alcohol in those glasses. The Midjadeha go first! That's brilliant. Oh, Darian fell! <laughs> fell off the seat! She's tall! Is she tall? She looks tall. She's got legs all the way up to her ears. Oh, so they're scoring with emojis. This is great. What a good game. <laughs> Everyone knows about Darian and Jadesha now. <laughs> Darian's next. Here we go. Oh, come on. Is he wearing the same shorts? He's wearing Garrett's shorts. <laughs> Obviously not, but he may as well be because they look exactly the same. Oh, he's fit, isn't he? I saw the arm muscles, but... Glad I saw this one. <laughs> I think Deb got confused by the word thirsty. I bet she's going to post a picture of her drinking a cup of tea. <laughs> Everyone knows about the couples now. Again, they're burning bridges. They don't realise it, but they're burning bridges. Okay, Rachel's got it wrong. Rachel is drinking a cup of tea. Or she's drinking drinks. It's not the right photo. I, I knew it. Everyone knew. Oh, poor Rachel. Yeah. Yeah, see, this is the problem with age. The young people are so ageist without realising it. They're just like this all the time. Like, what if she is body conscious? What if she was a 20 odd year old girl who's body conscious and they're all just slagging her off for not showing skin? What do we say about that? And they're all relatively small, body wise. There's no representation here, circle. Yet. Okay, Kevin. Savannah was good, you know. Savannah had a nice picture. I'm glad Kevin didn't go overboard. Give her a nice little nod. He's obviously a surfer, we think. Savannah's so much. All those emojis, Savannah. Pipe down. Just a bit of advice. Pipe. The F down. She does look gorgeous. Oh, that's Savannah. So who was the other one? What's Andy? It's not Andy. Andy's somebody else. Oh, Rachel. No, it wasn't Rachel. I'm getting so lost. Gianna. It was Gianna. I keep forgetting the twins are playing catfish. Girl. 
and I get confused because I'm trying to talk at the same time. You guys asked me to do this. Playing with my mind. Okay, Andy, come on. He's a rocker. Fully clothed. Why well, do you want to be brought down? I have a couple of notches. What happened? Oh, it's because she was an influencer. She doesn't want to be influencer again. Here's Garrett. Does he get to play? This is what I was looking forward to. And he's, he's nearly 30. I think he'll be one of the oldest. That's a good picture, Garrett. I'm proud of you. <laughs> At least say hello first. It's okay, Deb. It can feel wrong, but you're actually playing a younger girl. Go for it. I wonder if he will score high because he's new and they don't even know him yet. Now this will be a good picture if she's an OnlyFans model. She definitely, she looks so much like Katy Perry. Madeline? Come on, Madeline! I'm glad they're playing themselves. I think this will dilute the catfish confusion that's going on in my head. I, I said this, it's Andy in real life. This is a female version of Andy, and literally, Andy just said it. You must think I'm psychic. I am. Okay, let's see your picture. Oh, it's clothed. The boys are creepy as hell. I said this last time. The boys are creepy as hell. Well done, Madeline. Well done, Garrett. You've made a good first impression. Who's your favourite so far? Madeline or Garrett? Comments. Let's go. Diana Woods thinks she's gorgeous. But you guys need to calm down. Go and get a glass of water and relax. Yeah. Oh, Savannah. He won't try and make you jealous. He'll just have separate conversations. This is how they go. Sorry, but this is what's going to happen. Yeah. How did I know she would just click with Andy based on her walk and her look before she even got into her apartment? How did I know? It would make so much sense for Andy to talk to Madeline. Let's go. Kevin just said it. Nobody said you can't have two things going. I knew it. They can't help themselves. These boys cannot help themselves and it gets worse because they're in an apartment on their own I think nobody's actually going to clock it nobody will know it feels like more it's more secretive than it actually is alert <laughs> you're about to be given the chance to activate disruptor mode who's getting this everyone everyone's got this okay to activate disruptor mode, you must say disrupt. This is gambling. Darian, you're right. The first person to activate it will be the disruptor. Somebody needs to do it. Come on, come on, come on, let's go. So what happened last time? It went well. It's never good twice in a row. It's never good twice in a row. It's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. I'm not looking forward to it. Who's it going to be? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! No. They're not doing it. Not doing it. No. That's four. That's five. Kevin, no! Three of them. Kevin, Rachel, Darian, you've all said disrupt. Are they going to go in a separate room? No, there can only be one. Oh my god, I can't deal. Darian didn't say it first. Deb didn't say it first. Rachel's not the disruptor. Oh, Kevin! Well done. Well done. Well done. That was tough. It is all about taking risks, Kevin. It's not going to be good. Your disruption is as follows. Tonight there's a welcome party for the two new players. 
good so far. Kevin is automatically invited. Not bad so far. Well, he's not disrupted anything yet. He gets to invite two more guests to the party. What's the disruption? Don't get caught up, Kevin. What's the disruption? Here we go. Oh, he's not chosen his people. <laughs> Choose your people. Okay. I think he'll choose Savannah and one of the boys, probably Andy, so that he can keep bridges on both sides. Why is he worried about Madeline? If you don't bring her, you lose a bridge. Guys just always think with a toy. I tell you. <laughs> oh, he's so tied between the fit girls. He can't deal with it. In that case, he might just push, choose the boys. Alert! Oh, man. Well, Gianna, you'd think he'd have an alliance. But he's not thinking very clearly because of all the breasts that are flying around. Who is it? Buffered. He'll be buffered for long because there's always a separate chat going on. Okay. The disruptor is Kevin. Savannah is over the moon, but he's not going to pick her now. No, he has to pick her. Everyone knows he has to pick Savannah. This isn't his disruption, is it? Maybe this is his disruption. Oh, he's already picked. Oh my god. Okay, Kevin. Garrett, yes. Madeline. Obviously. Don't pee, Deb. You went to the toilet in episode one. Darian! He's picked his boys! He's picked his boys. Andy. Andy. Gianna? Savannah's gonna be fuming? Told you. She's angry. He didn't even give her all the, like, fire and love heart emojis during the game. She's over him. Yeah, alliance broken. I knew it! I knew it! He burnt a bridge. Did I not say that? And the buffer has happened. They're all buffering. Boo. What would you do if you were buffered? Like, at home, nothing worked. Like, you didn't have books. Like, they've got dominoes. <laughs> First thing is check the Wi-Fi. Is the Wi-Fi working? It's the montage. Get ready. It's the montage. It's the montage. Yeah. Oh, got it. I love the... Have they been given those outfits? They have. They were given those outfits. I was about to say, why are they all like neon? <laughs> I love these outfits. I love circle parties. They're just, they're so fun. Have you ever had a party on your own at home? I did during lockdown. Loved it. Loved it. Oh, they're all so bored in the bed, eating. Savannah's looking after her skin. Good choice. <laughs> Bowl of popcorn. It's not quite the party though, is it? Andy. Dance, dance, dance. Uh, uh. Well, they're all good dancers. They're all really good dancers. That was a good party. I wish I was there. Jealous. No, I'm buffering. Is this part of the show? No, it's my computer. <laughs> Let me try that again. Circle chat is now open. 
Oh, the VIP. I love those signs. Kevin, he's such a dude. He's just thinking about getting a new relationship on the go. Everyone can see right through it. Everyone can see right through it. They're the This chat is just excluding everyone except Madly. I don't think he's done any himself again any favors. Because he made himself look just really bad. And everyone's watching, wondering why he's not talking to them. <laughs> the twins are good because they're thinking strategically about their character, like how can they make it work. He's finally talking to Garrett, see how he's getting on. Madeline's living for the drama. She seems really nice. Now, we didn't get as much of an introduction to these two, so I love when things like this happen. You get to finally like, meet what they're like and get to know them a bit better. I love that Gianna is just putting it all out there. They're going to tell them about Savannah and Andy. Tell them they can't be trusted. Was a crazy first day. It doesn't stop. Random new people, completely unexpectedly. But what's the disruption? Like, I don't feel like this party is a disruption. I have a feeling something's going to happen. I wonder what it is. What is he going to have to do? He's living for the hosted. Host of the party. <laughs> He's trying to create another alliance because... He screwed over Savannah. The circle's got other plans. Alert! Party's over, but it's not. Oh, come on. Tomorrow, one player will be blocked from the circle. The way that just went, I think it might be Kevin. I wonder if it will be... I don't think it's going to be a rating. I think something will happen. And the winner of a game or something will have to make decisions. Can that happen? Oh, and we're done! Well, what can I say? What a great second episode. Two new players. We didn't leave on a cliffhanger. I'm so happy. I didn't go into a bad mood like I did at the end of episode one. I can relax. If there is a rating tomorrow, I wonder who's going to be an influencer. Who do you think is going to be an influencer in episode 3, if you haven't seen it? Don't answer that if you've seen it. I don't want spoilers. Until then, guys, I'm going to be sitting tight because I'm gagged. Don't forget to subscribe and drop me a comment. Let me know how you think that went. I hope my reaction videos are going the way you wanted them to go. At least I'm doing it. I'm loving the circle as always. Um, it's just a bit weird doing it with my setup rather than sitting in the sofa. But do you know what, guys? I can't wait for episode three now. Until then, take care. See you soon. Bye.